and seeing how they adjust. Maybe trying out Sofia Tulino, who we saw in the starting lineup. The transfer from Santa Clara, who hasn't had a ton of playing time this season, but she's starting tonight. Or Emily Bush in those passing positions. So these are players who haven't had to pass much yet this year. So the Trojans will likely be targeting them in those service rotations. Aside from that, both lineups are essentially what we've seen thus far in the season. As we prepare now for the first serve in this even exciting Big Ten matchup. Getting a look at those Washington Huskies through the net. That's Katie Wessels, the sophomore middle blocker and 2023 Pac-12 All-Freshman team player. She's going to be big for them tonight. Talk about those powerful attackers for the Huskies. You know, USC is a very defensive-minded team. So with different strengths, this should be an exciting matchup ahead of us. And the first serve will go to Sofia Tulino, the senior outside hitter, the graduate from Santa Clara that we were just talking about. She'll head back for the first serve as we get things underway here in the Galen Center. And the float serve dug by Jaden Livings to Aninga to Leah Ford in the middle, and she's blocked on that one. Famuina going to try to get an assist on this one, and Livings gets another swing. Tulino, Bay's going to keep that one in rotation, and Ensley gets a swing now. Trubent to Tuaninga to Ford. Ford gets another swing at it, and this one's going to be a kill. Leah Ford, the middle blocker, puts the Trojans on the board with the first point of the night. Yeah, Tro Leah Ford had very impressive efficiency with seven kills in the last game. And we'll get another look at her swing here. Just tip that one right over. Clearly keeping the momentum going. And Jaden Livings to serve now. And the Huskies going to get a swing. That's Katie Wessels to Aninga. Pushes it out to Famuina. Famuina with the tip now, and that's that player to watch we were talking about at the top of the show. She gets a kill on the board here early. Trojans now up 2-0. Talked about how important that passing game was going to be for the Huskies. You know, with them on serve receive right now, they're really going to want to adjust and get themselves in rotation. Absolutely. And Jaden Livings to serve again. Tulino passes this one again. Bays to Ensley. And that one will be out. Another point for the Trojans. We've seen Sofia Tulino receive a few of these serves for the Huskies. It seems like Jaden Livings is kind of spotting her there in the middle as maybe a weak point in this passing platform. Talked about how she hasn't had many opportunities to pass at all this season. Livings will serve again. And she digs this one. And Wilson will try to tip that one over, but there's nothing she can do with it. Yeah, I mean, this USC team clearly coming in with a lot of confidence today, a lot of strong plays being made on the Trojan side. So going to be interesting to see how Washington can respond here. For sure. And, you know, Washington is a team that has had a tendency to use two different setters throughout the year. We see Molly Wilson in right now. She'll get a pass off that one and set it out to Ensley. Much better pass there from Tulino. Leah Ford gets another swing, and she's going to put that one to rest. Another kill for Ford. How about Leah Ford already having a game for herself here early in the first set. Trojans now up 5-0. Yeah, another. Leah Ford is a very versatile player. I mean, you can see here just her strength on that kill there, but she also is a major blocker for this team. And we talked about how important that blocking will be tonight. Tolino, Ensley gets a swing on that one for the Huskies. And the Huskies will get their first point of the night from Maddie Ensley. Katie Wessels now back to serve. The Huskies are going to be relieved to get out of that rotation. They're going to cover Tulino a little bit now, hoping she doesn't have to pass as much off of the Trojans' attack. Wessels with the serve, and that one will be long. Service error for the Huskies results in a point for the Trojans, and we'll get a substitution. Gray Gosnell into the game for the Trojans, and out goes Adonia Famuina. The rotation we're used to seeing this year. Famuina doesn't usually pass from the back row. Gosnell comes in for her in that scenario, and she will serve now. And the float serve is dug by Bays. And Amini Bush is going to get a swing on this one, but that one will be out. And it's a point for the Trojans. Yeah, once again, I mean, accuracy for the Huskies is going to be crucial for them just when they have the opportunities taking advantage of those. And pickle volleyball is a sport that's all about momentum and energy. It seems like the Trojans are riding that energy here early, and I spoke too soon. Service air. Service air there from Gray Gosnell. Service airs have plagued the Trojans at times this season, especially early. We've seen that kind of be the sealer on a lot of losses for them throughout this season. 
Absolutely, so that's gonna be critical for both teams here. And Alexis Howery, the setter, will serve. It's dug by Batenhorst out of rotation. Batenhorst is gonna get a swing on it. And that's a point for the Huskies. That hit just too long. Batenhorst is a very strategic, tactical player. We see her, you know, use a lot of tips from her setter to Aninga. But she got a swing on that one. Howery now to serve again. Batenhorst to Aninga, back to Batenhorst, and that's the tip we're talking about. And Bays is going to send a free ball over to the Trojans. Trubin to Tuaninga, back to Batenhorst. Washington keeps this one alive. Howery will go to her right side. She'll try outside now. Ensley has to free ball that one over. And Tuaninga will try to use Batenhorst again. And this time it's good. A kill for Allie Batenhorst. Yeah, How Allie about? Batenhorst, just such a leader across the board on this team. Not only in points and kills, but also, you know, being a grad student on this team, having a lot of experience, used to play at Nebraska, um, consistently showing a lot of force for the Trojans. We get another look at that kill there. Just really smart player, as we mentioned. Trubit with the service, dug by Ensley, and Washington collides by the net. Can't get underneath that ball. Just looked like a miscue by them. And you were talking about Baton Horse and her experience, you know, coming from a program as big as Nebraska. How important do you think her experience in the Big Ten has been for the Trojans this year? Oh, absolutely. I mean, just have... The Trojans. And that serve will be short. Pickle, we talked about those service errors for the Trojans. I think they hoped that was a problem of the past, but clearly still something they're struggling with as a team. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something, like you mentioned earlier, that has plagued this team. And in volleyball, it can kind of almost make or break games for the end. For sure. And we saw the serve from Ensley there for the Huskies. Tyra Ariel going to get a kill on this one. Ensley went back to try and receive that, but she was just too far in front of the ball. Get another yeah, look at that here. swing here. And perfectly set up. Just took advantage of that perfect position there to really have a powerful kill. And Tyra Ariel has been a great middle blocker for this team this year. And look at that topspin serve from Mia to Aninga. Dug really nicely. And Sophia Tulino gets a swing on that one. But it'll be out and a point for the Trojans. Trojans are now up 11-4. to They've got a seven-point lead here in the first set. And to Aninga will go back to serve again. Her serve is a crowd favorite here at the Galen Center. And that one dug by Lauren Bays really nicely. How are we going to set it to Julia Hunt in the middle? But Trojans keep it alive. Jaden Livings now with a swing. And that one's a kill for Livings. How about Jaden Livings? Yeah, let's take a look at that. I mean, Jaden Livings, you know, coming into this season as a freshman, bringing so much fresh energy and impact to the offense, posting 10 kills in the recent UCLA game. Her power has been crucial on this USC team this season. And just a really nice spot through that Huskies block there. To Aninga now to serve again. And a spot serve there to the right side. Really smart play. It looked like Zoria Hurd, the junior libero for the Huskies, was about to get underneath that one, but she just couldn't. And, you know, spot serves were what we thought might be the difference here as the Huskies struggled to find a passing game, helping the Trojans pull away. Another one there, and the Huskies just can't keep it alive. This serve-receive game is absolutely dominating the Huskies. And they're going to call a timeout on this one, try and reset and get things going back in their momentum here. Yeah, I mean, USC being up by 10 this early in the match, just showing how they're, you know, kind of continuing to ride on the high of, you know, this big win against their crosstown rival UCLA. And just, I think they're coming into this game with a lot of momentum and are just excited to really keep that going. And we saw them sweep the Bruins at home for the Bruins, so mm -hmm. that 3-0 win was definitely a big statement for them after the Bruins took them to five sets at home earlier last month. And we get a look at the USC huddle and head coach Brad Keller in his fifth year with the program. He's 77 and 53 losses on the season, so they're going to want to get a win here in conference play, but things not going in their favor here early yeah. in the first set. It's really hard to come back from a 10-point deficit in volleyball. But anything's possible yeah, in this game. Absolutely. I mean, it was an action-packed five-set game that they had against Oregon, and they came up on top. So you never know what's going to happen this early on. You really don't. But Tuaninga will head back to serve again. The Huskies going to try to pass this one. And that one's just barely in. It's going to be another point for the Trojans. Tuaninga on a hot streak with these serves here. 
You don't see too many top spin serves like Tua Ninga's in women's volleyball, but she really brings the heat with hers. And this one's Doug. Howery to her right side and off the block of Batenhorst. The Huskies just can't keep it alive. How about that block game that we talked so much about for USC? That was Tyra Ariel and Allie Batenhorst on the block there. Yeah, Ariel, Batenhorst, two just powerhouse players for this USC team, having them up there together, look at it on their block, just perfectly executed. And as you said, the Huskies just couldn't quite recover on that one. Really clean angle off those forearms, but Tuaninga going to serve this one, and it goes out of bounds to end the serving streak for her. The Huskies now get a point. Still down by 11, 16 to 5. Lauren Bays, the libero, will head back to serve and hope to get things back on track for this Washington team. And the float serve is dug by Batenhorst. Tuaninga pushes it to Jaden Livings, and she absolutely lays that one out. Another kill for the Trojans. Now up 17 to 5 here in this first set. We'll get another look at that swing here from Livings. Absolutely. Jaden Livings is really one of those players that USC really utilizes and can count on game after game. And as a freshman, she's been so good at just finding those holes in the opposing team's defense, and we saw her do that again here. And the Huskies are going to get a point on that one off the swing from Kuhn Fletcher. Smart play there. She found the setter for the Trojans to get the setter out of that rotation. And Wilson will come into set for the Huskies. We talk about how they run a 6-2 and use two different setters at times throughout the game. Molly Wilson will now set for them. And she'll go back to serve first. Trubin digs it. Tuninga one-hand sets that one to Ariel. And the one-hand set into the middle blocker kill. Another really nice play there by Tyra Ariel. And Gala Trubent comes out of the game for the Trojans. Ariel now back to serve. We see the Huskies heavy loading their back row to try and get a good up here. Nice by Tulino. And they're going to have to roll shot this one by Emily Bush. Jaden Living is going to get a swing from the right side here. She tips it over. And the Huskies can't do anything with it. Trojans continuing to pull away here. Now up 19 to 6. 13 point deficit. Yeah, this is like their biggest lead of the game so far. And it just continues to grow as you can see here. Just constant firepower on this Trojan side. We got another look at that tip there from Living's. Entire aerial to serve again. Bayes digs this one. Wilson to her right side. And Sofia Tulino gets a really nice swing there and a point for the Huskies. Sofia Tulino really stepping into the rhythm here. Get another look at her from the back set here. Really nice vertical right hits the line there and Trojans can't keep that one alive. Nice play for her after we saw her struggle in the passing category earlier in this game. And Batenhorst takes that one to Ninga. Trubin gonna have to send it over as a free. Wilson gonna set Ensley on the outside. Really smart tip by Ensley. Famuina tries to get under it, but can't, and it's a point for the Huskies. Huskies kind of trying to get things going in their direction again now. They've got a couple more points on the board. Still down 20-7. to seven. And excuse me, that point's going to go to the Trojans, and Jaden Living's heads back to serve. And Tulino digs this one. Wilson. Sneaky play to her right side, Bush. And that'll be a point for the Huskies. Really smart play there by the Huskies. They were tight to the right side of that net and Wilson still managed to find Bush on the right side and get a nice kill there. Yeah, it's gonna be crucial for Washington to really kind of play to the Trojans' weaknesses as we just saw in that last play, finding those open spaces where they can't quite recover. And Katie Wessels goes to serve there, but she just serves it out of bounds. A service error for the Huskies and a point for the Trojans as we see Gray Gosnell come back into the game for the Trojans. And Pickle, how do you flip the script when you're down 13 points in a set like this? Is it about trying to come back, or is it more about just getting momentum to flip the page into the second set? I think a lot of it is mentality and how this team is going to really work together to keep a strong mindset and not let up. And on that last play, we saw the swing by Emily Bush, just absolutely denied by that Trojans blocking game again. Allie Batenhorst and Leah Ford this time on the block there. They've had a really strong block on the right side of that Huskies offense all night so far. 
And Gosnell will serve again. And the float serve is kept alive by the Huskies. Ensley going to get a swing on this one. The Trojans block sends it back over. Bay is going to set Ensley again. This time it's a tool, but the Trojans keep it alive. Ford tips this one over and looked like it was going to be out, but off the Huskies' touch, it's a point for the Trojans. Yeah, Ford there just had great vision, saw the opening, communicated well with her teammates. Just the story of this Trojan side this far. Leah Ford already kind of having herself a night here in this first set. Gosselin now to serve again. Tuino keeps this one alive. Back set to Emily Bush. Trubin with the dig. Tuningo with the one hand set to Ford. And setter is out for the Huskies. Bush going to get a tip in this one. And Trojans now out of rotation. Batenhorst gets a tip and she's stuffed by the Huskies. Tuningo with the swing. Huskies keep this one alive and Ensley's going to send it over as a free ball. Trubin to Tuininga, to Batenhorst, tips this one through, but it's outside the antenna. And it's a point for the Huskies. Nice long rally there, ended in the Huskies' favor. And back to serve for the Huskies is Alexis Howry into the game. In lieu of Molly Wilson, the other setter for this team, and she has a nice float serve. Dug by Batenhorst, Tuininga, Back sets it to Jaden Livings, who tries to get the back row attack, and she's just short of the net. Another point for the Huskies. Yeah, obviously, I mean, USC coming close to a first set win here, and Washington's really trying to put on the pressure and avoid and kind of come for this comeback. And Tuaninga going to try to tip that one over. Ensley keeps it alive. Julia Hunt gets a swing on it, and this one's a point for the Huskies off the touch of the Trojans. Trojans just two points away from closing this one out, but the Huskies trying to stop them as much as they can. Alexis Howery now to serve again. And the serve is dug by Batenhorst. They've spot served her a lot tonight. She swings it. Lauren Bays keeps it alive and Ensley gets a tip on this one. Jaden Living sends it back over. Howery, Bays, back to Ensley. Ensley gets a swing on this one and it's long resulting in a set point for the Trojans. Now up 24 to 11 here. And Tyra Ariel comes into the game for Leah Ford. Just looking at the stats so far here in the first set, eight attacking errors for Washington and just three for USC. It's kind of been part of the decision-making factor here in this first set. And Tuaninga dumps that one and that'll close the first set for the Trojans off the sneaky setter dump by Mia Tuaninga, the senior veteran setter. And we'll get a look at that play here. Sees that open space on the Huskies defense and just sends it over, resulting in a final score of 25 to 11 in favor of the USC Trojans there in the first set. We expected this to be an even matchup, but the first set was all Trojans. How much of that do you think? Yeah, I mean, something else to notice on the stat sheet is just Washington having eight attack errors to USC's three and just l not as accurate as this USC team. So accuracy and consistency, as we spoke about in the beginning, is going to be crucial for not only Washington, both these teams to and you continue. Gotta, and you got to think that's got to be in part due to USC's powerful blocking game. We talked about how they have one of the best block games in the Big Ten, and you know it's really forced the Huskies to try and get creative, and they're going to look to continue to do so here in the second set and get things going in their favor early. As we look at the Trojans on their side of the court. Gonna hope to close things out in three tonight, but not if the Huskies have anything to say about it. USC, really strong defensive team. We talk about that powerful block, but how about Gray Gosnell and Gala Trubin? Also very strong passers. We've seen them really light up here early. Again, Absolutely. not and really letting Washington close it out on those kills. Yeah, I mean, passing is honestly just as important. Being, up to, being able to set up those key players is going to be huge here for both teams. And Tyra Ariel now back to serve for the Trojans. Washington heavy stuffing that back row to hope to get a good pass here off of this serve. And Lauren Bays keeps that one alive. Wilson sets her middle, and they'll get an early kill from Katie Wessels. Trojans can't keep that one alive. Washington with the first point here in this second set, and Wessels will have it back to serve. Let's get another look at that kill here from Katie Wessels. Found that open pocket in the back row of the Trojans' defense, 
and got a point for the Huskies there. And the serve is kept alive by Trubank. And Tuaninga can't do anything off of that overpass. Maddie Ensley puts it to rest. Really smart job reading the ball there. Ensley getting another point for the Huskies, now up 2-0 here in the second set. Yeah, I know it's early, Scott, but it looks like these Huskies are ready for some revenge here in the second set. They've definitely come back out firing, looking to get things going in their direction. And another overpass by the Trojans, but the Huskies falter on this one, and that'll be a, the first point of the Trojans for the second set. We talk about the issues of passing off the serve receive for the Huskies in the first set. The Trojans have struggled a little bit with that so far here in the second set. Kind of got lucky there off the miscues of the Huskies and got the point. Jaden Living to now serve. Minnesota ACC Big Ten. And Minnesota. Base keeps it alive. Wilson to the middle. Julia Hunt gets a swing. And this one's out of bounds. Point for the Trojans. Really nice swing there by Julia Hunt, but just barely goes out of bounds. And the Huskies are going to challenge this play. They believe they saw a touch before it went out of bounds. Going to hope to get that one overturned in their favor. Again, it was a really nice swing by Julia Hunt, the freshman middle blocker. She's been a star player for them so far this year. As we get a look there at the Huskies huddle, you know, this point gets overturned. Things going back in their direction. They'd have the lead here in the second set. They're hoping to take any piece of momentum they can get after really the disaster of the first set that that was for them. Oh, absolutely. I think it's always, you know, as the away team, you're coming into this new environment. You don't know what to expect yet. And USC, I mean, really took advantage of just the confidence that the team has as a whole and also just being able to keep going with strong plays and consistency, which we've seen. But now interesting to see that we're all tied up here. Um, this is anyone's set so far. Yeah, definitely early in the second set, so can't say too much, but it's looked more evenly matched here, as, as we said. You know, USC's passing game looked like it was struggling a little bit. Kind of saw a little bit of a miscue on a pass there off of Jaden Livings on one of the serves from the Huskies. So USC going to look to clean up their passing game now in the second set as they get going here. You see the Washington players getting some notes. That's Kewen Fletcher, the senior outside hitter. Transfer from South Carolina. She really had a breakout season last year in her fourth year at South Carolina. She's a depth player for them right now. They're, they'd hope to get her working in this rotation, maybe feed her some kills from Wilson, from Howery, those two dynamic setters for the Huskies that they alternate between. Really interesting. You don't see too many high-level offenses utilize two setters in NCAA, but the Huskies really seem to get a good rhythm of it. And as we get a look at the USC Trojans bench now, just awaiting the results from this challenge. Both teams anxiously hoping it goes in their favor, you know. A challenge like this more than anything kind of halts any momentum in the game. It can act as a reset for either team, so really it's just about using pauses in the game like this to your advantage. Absolutely, definitely a time for both sides to regroup and, you know, go into the rest of this set. But a good three and out by Carolina. Something that was big for Washington in their game against Oregon was going on long scoring runs. And we've seen USC sort of struggle when they're down against long scoring runs, not able to break that streak. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see if Washington can get on a scoring run as we get the result back from the challenge now. In favor of the Trojans, no touch. Huskies are going to be disappointed with that ball, but they're going to have to get right back into rotation here as Jaden Livings heads back to serve for the Trojans. 2-2 here in the second set. Illegal formation, kicking team. That five -yard Livings team with the float serve. Line. Almost looked like it was just going to tip over the net there and be a really hard ball to receive, but it's short. And the service error results in a point for the Huskies. Alexis Howery now into the game and Kuhn Fletcher for the Huskies. Talked about working very into the rotation. It looks like they're going to do that now here. Alexis Howery to serve for Washington. Batenhorst barely digs that one. Tuaninga going to pass this one to Famuina. And it's kept alive by Tuino. And she'll back set to Fletcher. Really nice swing by her, but Batenhorst reads it well. And Hunt just tips that overpass over. Blocks it alongside Ensley. 
So again, those overpasses kind of being USC's worst asset right now. We'll another look at that here. Washington just able to block that over. And Howley will serve again. This one is long, so a service error sends the ball back to the Trojans. Now 4-3 here, the Huskies up. And Gray Gosnell will come into the game for the Trojans with Adonia Falmarina rotating out. Gosnell will transfer for Indiana. He's been a huge player for them all year. Ensley takes her serve. Howery sends it back to Ensley, but it's kept alive by the Trojans. Truly going to set Batenhorst, who tries to tip it through the Washington block. Howery barely keeps that one alive. Nice play by her. Bays will send it back over on a high ball. Trubin to Aninga, to Leah Ford, who finds a spot again, and Leah Ford with her fourth kill of the night. Yeah, Leah Ford has been on fire this game. Also was on fire at the UCLA game where she had a 583 hitting rate. And she's really shown her ability in that game and today to really dominate the net. Yeah, and Leah Ford is a player who had to redshirt last season due to injury. She's coming to her own this year for sure. Bays keeps that one alive. How are we going to send it to Julia Hunt? But the Trojans, Jaden Living's got a nice dig on that one. Batenhorst just going to send it over. And Tulino can't keep that one alive for the Huskies. Batenhorst gets the point for the Trojans. Talk a lot about Baton Horse sort of unconventional kills. We'll get another look at her sort of just roll shot there. Make sure that replay booth had enough time. That's tremendous. She gets a point on the board for them. Gosnell with a tight serve. Ensley keeps it alive. How are we going to send it to Julia Hunt? And this one is out. Trojans getting energy going in their favor again. Heading on a serving run here for Greg Gosnell. Unfortunately, not the execution. Good job blowing the bubbles. In the passing game on that opening series. And Gosling, as we said, has a really nice coach. So get another look at it there. Ensley, really nice dig there right to Howry. He sends it back to Ensley. But that block by Leah Ford and Ali Batenhorst is absolutely undeniable. That's one of the multiple times we've seen Batenhorst and Ford go up for that block tonight, and Ensley just can't break through it. It's a point for the Trojans. The Trojans now up 7-4 as the Washington Huskies call a timeout. Pickle, you know, it looked like this was going to be a closer set at the beginning of it. The Huskies had some momentum going, but Trojans taking this one away. Absolutely. Now we have some time to kind of reset with both teams here and kind of see how they're going to continue in the rest of this second set. And yes, we see the Trojans huddling there, you know, trying to keep things going in their favor. The Huskies may be trying to break up their momentum here with this timeout, but the Trojans are going to want to keep things going in their favor. And we're going to head to a break. We'll be back with more Big Ten volleyball action here in the second set after the commercial. He's in this Big Ten volleyball matchup. We're now here in the second set where the Trojans lead 7-4 to four in Gray Gosnell for USC. Has the serve. Coming off a timeout for the Huskies. They're going to look to rally and regain some momentum here in the second set. Hensley gets a dig there, but Howry just can't keep it alive. And it's a service ace for Gray Gosnell. Yeah, almost seemed like a little bit of miscommunication there on the Husky side. And it's going to be crucial for them to really, you know, respond to serves and just these plays in general that the Trojans are throwing their way. Might haunt this Huskies team, and it has all night. Five service aces, now six for the Trojans. And a net violation there for the Huskies results in a point for the Trojans. Craig Gosnell getting on a bit of a serving run here. Gosnell, they are 16 for Dug by Lauren Bays. She can't get underneath it. Another point for the Trojans. Now up 10 4 here in the second set, pulling away with a six point lead. Yeah, USC really on a run here, mostly due to serving, which really kind of flips the script for them, considering what has plagued them with service the errors in the past. And it's a bit ironic given their serving struggles throughout the season. This ball is kept alive by the Huskies, and they're going to get a kill on that one from Kuhn Fletcher. Really nice set there by Howry, just a really open opportunity for Fletcher to lay that one out, get the Huskies a point, try and get back in this game. It's now 10-5. With Maddie Ensley, the senior outside hitter, back to serve. 
Bait and Horse takes that one too. And they're gonna back set it to Leah Ford. He runs a route to the right side. And she'll get a point on that one off a touch by the Huskies. And Hurd comes into the game for the Huskies. Tyra Ariel comes into the game for the Trojans. Some substitutions here in this rotation. All of Truman now to serve for the Trojans. It's a little bit of a four-man rush from different spots, but Huzzy knows I have Soria Heard with a really nice dig to Howry. Julia Hunt gets a swing, but Jaden Livings keeps it alive. Baton Horse gets a second touch swing on that one. Julia Hunt gets a kill off of that swing. Yeah, really competitive rally there. Just kind of came down to some great vision on the Husky side and you know USC not quite being able to respond on that one but still up by quite a lot in this second set. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication there by the Trojans. Baton Horse took the second touch over to Aninga but Huskies get the point as a result. To Aninga just dumps that one. Her opportunity to get a point on the board now 12-6. Trojans with a six point lead and Mia to Aninga will head back to surge. Let's get another look at this setter dump here. Something that she's become really good at throughout her career, just being a tricky, smart, tactical setter. Yeah, finding that open space. For sure, and she'll get a serve there. Really nice dig by Hurd. How are we gonna set it to the outside? And Julino swings through the block. Really nice point for the Huskies. Yeah, that worked out really well for them. We have three, you know, main key players on USC up for that block, yet they're still able to kind of creep through there. And Sophia Tolino really coming into a rhythm here in this game. She's been crucial in the absence of Kirsten Barton tonight. And Molly Wilson will serve. Trubit to Aninga. Ariel gets a tip off that one, and the Huskies send it back over on a free. To Aninga, back to Batenhorst. And she'll get a kill off that one. How about Tu Ninga mixing it up, using that back set with Baton Horse on the right side? Yeah, and we all know when Baton Horse gets those opportunities, she really knows how to take advantage of them and come out on fire, as we can see right here in the replay. Just completely strong. And they just can't respond on the Husky side to that one. And she'll head back to Surrey. Zoria Hurd keeps this one alive. Wilson to Katie Wessels. Trojans trying to keep this one in rally, and Baton Horse will send that back over. Hurd keeps it alive again. Wilson uses Wessels again. Famuina digs it to Tuaninga, back to Famuina, and she will absolutely lay that one out with a kill, no question about it. Just really fast speed off her contact with the ball. Lauren Bays couldn't get underneath it for the Huskies, and Baton Horse will head back to serve again. The Trojans now up 14 to seven here as the second set progresses. Yeah, also something to keep in mind is Washington has no blocks in this set so far, so they're going to need to utilize strength on defense as well. So Tolino with a swing there. Livings almost gets blocked there off the Huskies. As you say, they need to use it more, but Livings finds her way through it. And the Trojans get another point, now up 15-7. to seven. And Washington Huskies will call a timeout here. Gonna look to reset and get things going in their favor yet again. And looking at the stats so far tonight, how about the hitting percentage for the Trojans? 415. 615, excuse me, just updated. Absolutely monstrous number, really big stat for them. And the Huskies just barely over 100. They're gonna look to clean up and give themselves more opportunity to lay out kills here as the second set progresses. And we get a look at the upcoming schedule for the Huskies on November 7th. They'll play at Minnesota in the ninth. They'll play Nebraska, so two hard games coming up for them before they put just into the net. Results in a point for the Trojans. Yeah, and I mean, if we look at this Washington side, they're actually leading the Trojans in attack attempts. It's just the defense that needs to be more solid on their end. Baton Horse gets a short serve there, so the service there are going to give an opportunity to the Huskies to get some momentum going again. Point for them makes this game 16 to 8. And a uh, hello, Jordan Newbin. Tulino comes back to serve for the Huskies. Drive you back. That is Stick Lane right there from the secondary driving. And she'll that serve back. this one no to Famuina, to Aninga, to her middle, and Ariel gets a swing there, and it's a kill. No question about it. She found the back of that court where there was no Huskies coverage. These middle blockers have had some big kills. Leah Ford, Tyra Ariel for the Trojans tonight. Yeah, I mean, Ariel's such a versatile player. Look at her on this kill. 
so much firepower there, but also just her contributions defensively have been key for this Trojan team. And she'll head back to serve now. Baze keeps this one alive. Wilson to push. Nice dig there by Tuaninga. Batenhorse out of system here. And that one is played outside of the antenna. Famuina tried to keep it alive, but it'll be a point for the Huskies. That ball was just really out of system after Tuaninga got the first touch. Trojans couldn't get it back in control. And Katie Wessels will head back to serve for the Huskies. The float zone. It's dug by Jaden Livings, and that is going to be an ace for the Huskies. Really nice opportunity there for them to get some momentum going. Now down by seven. Slowly crawling back into this one off the nice serve by Katie Wessels. Mentioned it earlier, she's a part of that 2023 Pac 12 All Freshman team, so really big contributor for this team. And that serve. Sneakly gets over, Trubin keeps it alive off the pancake, and Famuina gets a swing on this one. Off the touch of the Huskies, it's a point for the Trojans. Game is now 18 to 10 here in the Galen Center. Get another look at that swing here by Famuina. Just off that touch by Julia Hunt to the Huskies. And the way she almost utilized that block to kind of position the kill there. And the script will turn again as Jaden Living serves that one out of bounds. A service error makes a point for the Huskies. Ewan Fletcher and Alexis Howry now into the game for the Huskies. Molly Wilson, the other setter, will come out. Howry will take the serve. And that one just goes out, and it's a point for the Trojans. It looked like Gala Trubin almost took a pass there, but saw that it was going out. Good read by her. Ray Gosnell now into the game to serve. But all freshmen in yards per game, they don't have them, but 25 is a saw lot. Saw have a lot of NFL playbook or an NFL game really clean plan. serves in the first set. In the run game, but 25 she send another float looks, over here. Lauren Bays with a really clean pass right to Howry. And Jean Fletcher gets a swing there, and she's just blocked on that right side by the Trojans. To Aninga and Leah Ford getting in on that one. Leah Ford again in this block game. Yeah, Mia Tuninga is such a key player for the Trojans, a veteran player who's so key for them both offensively and defensively. We've seen her have some incredible blocks, but also some really strong offensive plays. Yeah, as setter, she's really important in establishing that rhythm for them. Howry now pushes it out to Ensley, but that swing is just going to go too long. It's now 21 to 11. You see the Trojans huddle over there celebrating. But I will say, I mean, despite the Trojans being up by 10 right now, it's definitely been a different Washington team in this second set. They've really come back a little bit here, and it's been a much more competitive set between the two. For sure, Pickle. We've seen them begin to kind of find a rhythm and make this a more exciting game. And how about that there? Kill by Ensley. Just as we're talking about Washington getting their momentum, really nice offensive play there by them, and Ensley will head back to serve. And the big man, and he is a big man. It's 6'7 and 315. Got his pass. Washington down. now down 21 to 12. Jason, nice serve by Ensley. Batenhorst steps in front to take that one forward. Passes it to Batenhorst, and there's that Washington block. How about Julia Hunt and Kuhn Fletcher on that block? No way Batenhorst was getting through that one. Yeah, that was a much needed block for them. It's their first one this set. The they get another look at it here. Really just nice angle. Read that offensive play by the Trojans perfectly. Peyton Horse keeps this one alive. Tuaninga barely gets under it. And this one will be out. And it's another point for the Huskies. Slowly climbing back into this one. Trying to get on a scoring run here as they're still down 21 to 14. Nadia Ensley to serve again. And the float serve dug by Jaden Livings to Aninga with the back set to Leah Ford. Bays keeps that one alive. How are you going to send it to Julia Hunt in the middle? And Gosnell digs that swing to Aninga. Takes the second touch and Ford just stuffs it over. It's become a battle for the ball. Tulino tips that one over forward. Going to try to get a swing on this one. And Tulino and Julia Hunt with the block there. Point for the Huskies. 
Huskies getting that block game going, trying to stop the USC offense however they can. And the Trojans will take a timeout now. Let's get another look at that block there off of Leah Ford. As the Trojans head to a timeout, perhaps a little worried about the Huskies coming back into this one. How can the Trojans reset now? Yeah, I mean, Washington obviously closing the gap a little bit, only down by six now, which, although is a lot of points, is not as many as it has been in this game so far. Also kind of ironic that despite USC's huge lead this entire game, Washington... The Trojans, the Huskies, you know, just struggling to get some of those passing rotations on serve receipt, but then, as you said, six service errors by the Trojans as well. So that serve game, you know, really been important, crucial in getting points for either team so far tonight. And obviously, you know, we've, we've seen Washington kind of come into this second set a lot more aggressive, a lot more attacking, but their hitting percentage is really what's plaguing them right now. They're at a negative 41 hitting percentage to USC's 395. They're going to really need to bring that back up to stay in it. Right, and a negative hitting percentage this late in the second set is not something you want to see. They're going to hope to flip that number as they try to climb back into this one here, down by six points late in the second set. And Maddie Ensley back to serve again. And I am telling you, man, her three, six, six, three thirty in his times. This one is an ace for Ensley. Jaden Living's tried to slide in front to cover that pass. Couldn't get underneath it. So another nice serve for Ensley. And she'll head back to serve. Gosno with a nice pass. Tuninga one hand sets it to Baton Horse, and she'll get a point on this one. The Huskies can't keep that tip alive. Now 22 to 16 in the Trojans' favor. Gala Truman gonna head back to serve. Get another look at that tip here from Baton Horse. Yeah, that was perfectly placed. They just could not return it. Trubin with a short serve, another service error there for the Trojans. Going to be a point for the Huskies. Not something you want to see this late in the set. Warren Definitely Bays. is kind of crunch time here. Trojans just three points away from winning yet another set, but Washington is creeping up here. And Lauren Bay is back to serve. Gosnell to Tuaninga to Batenhorst. Batenhorst gets a swing on that one. Bays keeps it alive. And Tulino gets a swing. Gosnell with the jump dig. Looked like Washington was going to put that one away there with Katie Wessels, but Trubin sends it over on the free ball. How are we going to give Wessels another chance? And this one's out, and it's a point for the Trojans. What a rally there. Yeah, Washington on these plays, definitely extremely aggressive, but what they seem to be lacking a little bit here is accuracy and making sure that they're being consistent with the placement of the ball on those kill attempts. Let's get another look at this play here. We saw some really nice defense on both sides by Lauren Bays, Greg Gosnell, and Tuaninga now to serve. Soria Heard keeps this one alive. Howry to Tulino with the tip. Batenhorst to Tuaninga. Back to Batenhorst. And she'll lay out a kill there. No question about that. Again with the placement right in the middle of the court where there was no Huskies coverage. Yeah, I think whenever you see Ali Batenhorst jump up there, get into position, you know something big's about to happen. For sure. She's definitely been a star for this team. Now on set point, Tuaninga back to serve. There with the top spin, and this one will be short. Service error keeps this one alive for the Huskies. 24 to 18, so a much closer set than the first. But despite it being closer than the first, USC's definitely got a lot of time to work with here and has already got a decent gap in the scoreboard. Yes, they've got several set points to try and close this one out. Molly Wilson back to serve. And Trubit digs that one to Aninga to Jaden Living, and she lays that one out with a kill, no question about it. 25 to 18, Jaden Livings closes out the second set for the Trojans. Let's get another look at that one here. A push by to Aninga and Livings. That powerful swing we've become used to seeing from her all season, the freshman outside, really stepped into her own for this team so far this year. And the Trojan things that's important to us is that we bring in a lot of players going into the season so that we have depth. We have three transfers mixed in with three freshmen, so she's interested to see who will rise when competition happens, and that depth has definitely been important for them as of late with the injuries to some of their star players, especially given that they have a lot of new blood on this team with those three transfers and those three freshmen, as they've said. They've acted really resiliently, and they're going to come into this third set. We see them re-entering the court now. 
Trojans going to look to end this one in a sweep and take away this third set while the Huskies look to get things going back in their direction and maybe reverse sweep this one. Yeah, and I mean, USC is coming off a three-set sweep to UCLA, so now they've got five set wins in a row. Looking for a sixth here could be an incredible two-game sweep, potentially, depending on what's about to happen here in this third set. And the Galen Center is active here this afternoon. Fans on their feet rooting for the Trojans to come back out after this break and close things out here in the third set. The Huskies have played in exciting environments before, though, so... They're going to hope to channel that en energy in their favor and get things going in their direction. See Katie Wessels deep in the court to take the first serve for the Huskies here at the top of the third set. She's been a really star middle blocker for them throughout her career. She has a season high seven kills at Oregon State, also had eight blocks in that game. So versatile dual threat player for Washington. as she heads deep in the court to prepare to serve. And Wessels gets the game underway. Trubent sets to two and Ninga to forward. We've seen her do that a lot tonight. Wilson goes to Ensley. Batenhorst takes that one. And Trubent to Famuina right into the net. Uncharacteristic net swing there for Famuina and it's a point for the Huskies. First point of the set. Saw a similar narrative last set. The Huskies getting the first couple points of the set. So it'll be interesting to see if they can keep things going in their direction here with Katie Wessels now serving again. Jaden Livings digs that one short to Aninga. To Famuina gets another swing at this one through the block. Wilson and the Huskies out of system. Ensley gets a swing on this one. And Batenhorst can't get underneath it. It's a kill for Ensley and a point for the Huskies. Huskies now up 2-0 here early in this third set. Yeah, as you just said, kind of a similar start to that second set as we're seeing here in the third set. We'll be interesting to see if they can keep up this momentum as that has not been the story of this game. We saw that swing there from Ensley again, just found that pocket in the USC defense. Tuaninga keeps that one alive, barely in Livings, can't close it off. Really smart defensive play there from the Trojans to keep that ball alive, but Livings was just too far behind her footing, and it's another point for the Huskies, now up 3-0, Wessels to serve yet again. And the float serve, dug by Trubin to Aninga, will send it back to Livings, and Livings will close that one off through the Huskies block, tight there on the net, and it's a point for the Trojans. Got themselves on the board here in the third set, now 3-1. Get another look at that swing there from the living, from Jaden Livings. She'll head back to serve now. And Bush keeps that one alive. Wilson gonna send it to Ensley. Off the USC block and Batenhorst passes this one tight. Famuina tries to get a tip. And there's a stoppage on the play. A net call on the woman of Troy results in a point for the Huskies. Errors like that are crucial in games like this. Don't want to be giving away points on net errors, but Trojans now just three points behind here in the first set, in the third set, excuse me. And Alexis Howery to serve for the Huskies who are up four to one here. And Batenhorst digs this one. Falmuina gonna take this set out of system. Batenhorst gets a swing and Tuino can't keep that one alive. The kill by Batenhorst off the touch. Right into Tulino. And it's a point for the Trojans. Now 4-2. The Huskies leading by two. We'll get another look at this swing here from Batenhorst from the back row. Something she's become known for on this team. You know, she's one of the tallest players on this team. Not too many players can take swings like that from the back row. So she's definitely added to their creative play in that sense. Oh, absolutely. Now... Gosnell with the serve. Bays keeps it alive. Howery to Julia Hunt. Jaden Livings tries to keep that one alive, but it'll be out of play. Huskies with the point. How about that defense by Lauren Bays, the senior libero, who posted career best numbers during her junior season last year. She's just an absolutely star defensive player for the Huskies from the beginning of her career when she was Pac-12 all-freshman team. 
And Ensley serves this one. Bait and Horse keeps it alive. One hand set to Bait and Horse, who has to free that ball. Bay is going to send this one deep. Trubin to Tuaninga to Bait and Horse with the swing. Tulino keeps it alive. Howry from the back row set. And that one is going to be laid out by Kuhn Fletcher. Point for the Huskies. Yeah, I mean, this is the longest Washington has maintained a lead in this game. Just kind of showing their grit and how they're really kind of working hard to come back here. Obviously, this match is not over, and they are looking for their comeback story. And we talked about how we expected to see Washington coming out of, into this third set firing, and that's exactly what they've done there with that service ace by Maddie Ensley. And she'll head back to serve again. Huskies now pulling away with a five-point lead, 7-2 to two here in this third set. Huskies perhaps getting in the Trojans' heads a little bit here. Ensley with the serve. And that'll be a point for the Trojans. That ball just barely went out. We saw Gray Gosnell about to serve, the, to pass it, excuse me. And Zoria Hurd comes into the game to play defense for the Huskies. Yeah, Huskies on their largest lead so far, 7-3. to three. And looking at their hitting percentage, I mean, USC in the negatives, Washington 600. They're definitely turning the script around here. Trubent will serve. Hurd keeps that one alive, barely. Bay is going to swing that one up to Fletcher. Tuninga to Trubent to Batenhorst off the block. And Hurd keeps it alive. Fletcher gets another swing at it, and this time it's a point for the Huskies off the touch of Gala Trubent. Another point for Washington. Now up 8-3 here in this third set as we get another look at that swing there from Kuhn Fletcher. Trubent in a position to pass that, but just couldn't get underneath it. Lauren Bays to serve. Craig Gosnell to Tuaninga. Back set to Jaden Livings. And that ball is rocketed off the Huskies block, and it's a point for the Trojans. Off the swing by Jaden Livings. Yeah, now we see USC only down by four points. Still could be anyone set here, but definitely interesting to see this kind of energy shift as Washington's really taking control. And Mia Tuaninga now back to serve for the Trojans. Talked about her serve a lot tonight. Lauren Bays keeps that one alive really cleanly. Fletcher going to try to get a touch on this one. And the Huskies rally this one over. Gosnell to Tuaninga to Batenhorst. Batenhorst gets a swing. Bays with the dig. And Livings tops that one over. Bays keeps it alive. Fletcher going to swing at this one. And Tuaninga can't keep that one alive. It's a point for the Huskies off the touch of Mia Tuaninga. Huskies now with a five point lead here in the third set, up nine to four. Yeah, I mean the Huskies were definitely became much more aggressive in that second set. And it seems like those aggressive, tough attacking plays are just becoming more accurate in this third set. And that's really what's contributing to them getting more points here. Yeah, the Huskies definitely been more accurate attackers here in the third set. The serve from Molly Wilson, bait and horse to Ninga, back to bait and horse and she'll tip that one through the block. Point for the Trojans. Nice smart play there by Baton or something we've become used to seeing from her all season long. Get another look at that. Tip through the block here. Before the season, Brad Keller, head coach for the Trojans, said we're going to play a lot faster, a lot more creative. We're going to throw the ball around, and that's kind of what we've seen in these smart plays by players like Baton Horse. And Bush with the swing. Baton Horse keeps it alive. Ariel passes it back into rotation, and Trubin sends it over to Lino. And Bush gets a swing on this one, and it's blocked. Kept alive by the Huskies. Tolino gets another swing, and it's blocked yet again. That USC block coming up for them once again here. The Huskies with a lot of opportunities to close that point out. Let's get another look at it here. Tolino with the swing. Tyra Ariel and Adonia Falmuina go in for that block. And there's Falmuina contributing to that block like we said she would at the top of the show. And Katie Wessels gets a swing on this one. The Huskies keep it alive. Bush now tips through the block. Jaden Livings tries to control that tight ball, but it's a point for the Huskies. And the Huskies extend their lead to four now, up 10-6 as Sofia Tulino heads back to serve. Yeah, the Huskies are definitely gaining a lot of confidence on their side of the net, just responding overall so much better to all these plays and getting used to players like Ali Batenhorst, Jaden Livings throwing these hard attacks to the other side of the net. And Tulino to serve. Batenhorst keeps this one alive. Trubin gonna set it to Famuina. And she gets through the block. 
Wilson to Ensley. Ensley gets through that block and miscue by the Trojans. Results in a point for the Huskies. Just looks like the Trojans didn't know what to do with that second touch there. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication there on the Trojan side. And it's almost like these Huskies are almost sort of rocking them a little bit, coming out so strong in this third set. Right, might be getting in the Trojans' heads a little bit. They're going to want to reset here off this serve from Tulino. And yeah, another miscommunication there. It looks like between Batenhorst and Trubit, they didn't know who was going to pass that serve. It's a point for the Huskies and a timeout for the Trojans. Huskies now with a six point lead here in this third set, up 12 to six. Trojan's gonna look to reset off this timeout. What has been the difference in this set, Michael? I mean, I think as we can see, it's been all Washington in this set. Kind of just a complete reversal of the script of the game so far. You know, Washington having two service aces, something we haven't seen yet in the game. 333 hitting percentage, USC is zero. Just dominating in points, kills, and then USC having four attack errors just in this set alone. They're really going to need to regroup here on the timeout. Makes sense why that timeout was called. And it'll be interesting to see if there's any kind of shift in dynamic after the break. And that hitting percentage has been a huge switch for this third set. Um, Washington now with a 333 hitting percentage, as you said, USC with zero. So it's definitely been a difference maker. And we'll take a break here and be back with more Big Ten Volleyball. Washington in the third set as they have a six point lead over the Trojans to Lino with the serve. Dug by Trubin to Aninga to Famuina. And that's a kill by Famuina, no question about it. Trying to get things back on track for the Trojans off that timeout and that's the reset they were looking for. Get another look at that swing here by Famuina. Look at that, she was just on fire. She saw that from the get-go. Right when she jumped up, she knew she had it and she really finished well there on that one. And we've talked about how she's really stepped up for this attacking line after we saw London Weejay go out early in the season. And the serve from Ariel. Tulino digs that one. Wilson to Ensley. It's a kill for Ensley. She responds to Adonia with absolutely no question about that swing. Ensley lays that one out. Nothing the Trojans can do about that. And it's a point for the Huskies, who now lead 13 to 7. Yeah, Ensley's been a very consistent player on the Husky team. Obviously, was a player to watch in this game. And as a freshman, was Pac-12 all-freshman team. And now she's a senior. But she's just continued that momentum in her career. And it's the kill from Jaden Livings. We saw that opening serve from Katie Wessels. She's had some really clean serves throughout the night. But Jaden Livings able to respond to that one with a Really clean kill off the accurate set from Tuaninga, and Livings will head back to serve now. Yeah, Livings and Batenhorst both tied in most kills this game with eight for USC. Definitely showing some strong offense on their side. And Bays digs that one. Julia Hunt gonna try to get a swing on this one, but she is blocked. And it's another point for the Trojans. Climbing back into this one, now down by just four. Let's get another look at that block here. That's Adonia Falmuina and Leah Ford blocking Julia Hunt. That USC block game been so important tonight. Absolutely. And Livings serves again. Bays keeps this one alive. They'll be out of system. Ensley gonna get a swing on this one. Trubent with the dig to Aninga. To Jaden Livings who lays it out yet again. How about Livings having herself a third set here? Really clean kill there, no questions about it. Huskies. Not able to get underneath that ball with the fast momentum coming off of her hand. Let's get another look at that here from deep in the court. Stumbles up from that back row. Play we're used to seeing from Batenhorst. Livings executes it nicely. And Wilson sets Ensley. Ensley chips this one over. It's a point for the Huskies. Just as USC was getting momentum going back in their direction, Huskies get a convincing kill to get things back on their side of the court. Still, Huskies only up by four points. We're in the middle of the set. It's going to be critical to see which team can really come up on top in this second half of set three. And we just saw Q and Fletcher sub into the game for the Huskies. Perhaps they're looking to mix up their offense a little bit. How were we with the serve? And a swing from Bayenhorst is blocked. But this one just barely goes out. And it's a point for the Trojans. And the Trojans are excited about this one. Bit of an unconventional point there for them, but they'll take it down now, just three. Really coming back from behind. Let's get another look at this play here. Batenhorst with the attack from the middle. And that one stumbles 
off the head of Ford to the other side. And Ensley now with the tip. Tuaninga keeps this one alive. Trubent going to set it. Batenhorst with the swing. And it's a point for the Huskies. Because it went just out there for Batenhorst, but very strong performance on her end. Batenhorst, a very powerful player, so sometimes hitting out is a common error, hitting long in powerful players like that. Ensley now to serve. And that serve will be out. So a point for the Trojans off the service error of the Huskies. Tyra Ariel into the game for Leah Ford. Gala yeah. Trubent will head back to serve. Minimize the Huskies error there. Huskies only up by three now. Yeah, definitely closing that gap. Huskies losing a bit of comfort in their lead. Gala Trubent now to serve. Tight serve over the net. Zoria Hurd keeps it alive. Sofia Tolino gets a swing. And this one's out of bounds. Another point for the Trojans. Trojans down now by just two, 15 to 13 here in the Galen Center. See the Trojans getting excited about that one on the sidelines. Gala Trubin gonna serve again. And the float serve, dug by Zoria Hurd, really clean dig and backs that bit of miscommunication. So it's a free ball to Aninga going to Batenhorst, and she's blocked on this one by Kuhn Fletcher. To Aninga, now going to try Tyra Ariel. Huskies keep it alive. Sofia Tolino swings it over. To Aninga, going to go back to Batenhorst. He's blocked again. Jaden Livings with the dig, keeps it alive. Batenhorst gets another swing on this one. Zoria Hurd with the dig. And she'll go to the middle, but the Huskies keep this one alive. And the swing by Kuhn Fletcher. And it's a kill for the Huskies. What a long rally there in this game. I mean, we've really seen limited rallies like that in this game, just kind of showing how competitive both teams are getting with each other, how comfortable both sides are getting. And here in the replay, you can see that kill. Just there was no way to respond for the Trojans on that one. It went right in between those two players, and they couldn't quite get to it. You said it, a convincing, exciting rally. Both teams trying to lay it out here in the third set, and Bayenhorst there going to get a point for the Trojans. Tuninga. Feeding Batenhorst on the outside a lot there in the last couple of rotations. And now Tuaninga will head back to serve. We've seen the Huskies have some trouble returning Tuaninga's serve all night. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt here. See essentially all of their players in serve receive position. And they keep this one alive unconventionally. Tulino. Hurd keeps it alive and they'll go out to Fletcher. <gasps> And it'll result in a point for the Huskies off the touch of Jaden Livings. Looks like Trojans almost got ahead of themselves there. Weren't ready to pass off the Huskies' touch. And into the game for the Huskies is Imani Bush. With Molly Wilson heading back to serve. Huskies now with a three-point lead. They've led this entire set. But that serve is a point for the Trojans. Lowering that lead to just two. Score is now 17 to 15, and Batenhorst, the star outside hitter for the Trojans, will head back to serve. And the float serve is dug by Bays, and they'll go outside to Tolino. And it's a net call on the Trojans, resulting in a point for the Huskies. Again, and that error is not something you want to give up in a close set like this. Huskies now lead 18 to 15. Trojans have cut into that lead, but they can't seem to be able to close it completely. And Tulino with the serve. Trubit to Tuaninga to Livings. And Livings overpowers that one out of bounds. It's another point for the Huskies, garnering some momentum here again. Trying to pull away. They now lead 19 to 15. Tulino to serve again. Batenhorst with the dig. Tuaninga to Famuina. And Famuina finds a gap to get a point back in the Trojans category. Now 19 to 16, three point lead for the Huskies. Really smart way for Tuaninga to get creative with her offense. Use Famuina there on the outside. Let's get another look at that kill yeah, here. Let's look at Famuina here. She clearly saw it 
and just saw that open space there in the back. I mean, she's added such a balance to USC's front line, had seven kills in the recent game against UCLA, clearly keeping up the momentum here on her side. And off a back pass from Tuaninga too, getting creative. Absolutely. And a dig there by Paisley Douglas, who's come into the game, but this one will be out of bounds and a point for the Huskies. Douglas to come out, Gala Trubin subbing back in. Katie Wessels, who's been a really accurate server for the Huskies all night, come back to serve for them as they lead 20 to 16 here late in this third set. Yeah, first time Huskies have gotten to 20 points in a set this game. Good point, Pickle, and the swing from Livix. Bush gets a swing here. It's a point for the Huskies as Trojans let that one hit the ground. Huskies just four points away from closing this third set out. And it's a timeout for the Trojans. Gonna look to get momentum going back in their favor here late in the third set. Well, Pickle, this game is being produced by students at the University of Southern California as part of the Big Ten Network Student U program, an on-campus experience that is unique to the Big Ten. Student U is part of an educational mission to teach the next generation of sports production professionals. For more information, visit BigTenNetwork.com slash StudentU. As we get a look there at the USC Trojans huddle, they were definitely coming into this third set, hoping to close it out with a sweep against the Huskies, but the Huskies have made it a convincing match. We've seen the Trojans cut into that lead, but some attacking errors has really been the name of the game for the Trojans in this third set. Six attacking errors to Washington's three. It's really a flip of the script, you know. Washington's attacking errors are what limited them so much in those first two sets, but they've been the much more accurate attackers here in this third set. Trojans gonna look to mix things up on offense. Use Jaden Livings, Leah Ford, Adonia Famuina, all of those powerful attackers. We've seen them feed bait and horse a lot and it's worked, but I think the Huskies defense is starting to figure it out. Yeah, and I think another thing that, you know, we sort of touched on at the start, but you know, Washington is slowly kind of starting to get used to the absence of two of their top players. They're really kind of finding strengths in the players that they've got on the court right now. Time out, try to reset. If you're head coach of the Washington Huskies, what are you telling your huddle right now to get back in this game and try and win this third set here? I mean, I think just this extremely competitive third set has been such a shift from the first two sets. I think it's kind of taken almost both teams by surprise here. Washington being on top, they obviously kind of need to close this one out if they want to stay in this game. I mean, it's kind of make it or break it time for them. USC's got some time, but if they want to close this game out early, then they need to come back here. Yeah, and we talked at the top of the show about how consistency was going to be key for USC. That seemed to be the case in those first two sets, but this third set has showed a little bit of that hot and cold nature we've come to expect from this team. Something that we saw them clean up in the first two sets, as we said, but down the stretch of regular season play, they're going to want to look to continue to improve on finding that consistent rhythm throughout long games. We're getting a look at the Trojans huddle there now, perhaps saying some of the same, trying to rally the team to close out these last few points and finish the sweep. The Huskies have led for much of this third set. And Jaden Livings will stay back to take the serve for the Trojans. One of those star hitters for them all night. Jaden Livings has had herself a night in the attacking category and some really consistent serves. Oh, absolutely. And so exciting for USC to have such a strong player in a freshman in Jaden Livings. Looked like we jinxed that one there, Pickle. Too bad the service error from Jaden Livings results in a crucial point for the Huskies. Now just three points away from closing this one out. Amani Bush now, the junior outside hitter, going to take back to serve. Batenhorst with the dig deep in the court and Trubent is gonna pass it to Famuina who tips this one over. Bush keeps it alive, Ensley gets a swing on this one. Batenhorst digs it to Aninga, to Famuina. Swings and it's a point for the Trojans off the touch of the block of the Huskies. You know, we talk a lot about the block game all night. That Huskies block game has just not been clean enough. Let's get another look at it here. Famuina, just the blocking angle not accurate enough. 
Results in a point for the Trojans. And Gray Gosnell now going to serve to try and pull this one up for the Trojans. The Huskies keep this one alive. Ensley going to get a swing on this one. Trojans block that one over. Bays going to send it back to Ensley, and she'll swing that one way too far. Now look at that. It is a... It's called a point for the Huskies off the touch of the Trojans. It's like a little bit of confusion by the Trojans. Yeah, this is the closest the Huskies have been to winning a set, and they are just two points away. Ensley going to serve now. Gosnell can't keep that one alive. It's a service ace by Ensley, resulting in a set point for the Washington Huskies. Ensley going to head back to serve again. Ensley been a big playmaker for the Huskies tonight, and she'll get a service error there. Keeps this one alive for the Trojans, but they're going to have to go on a streak now. 24 to 21, Huskies with another set point. See some substitutions for the Trojans. Megan Verbeest in. She's been a pinch server for them all year. Really important defensive specialist and depth player. She's going to want to go on a streak here to try and close this one out for the Trojans. Nice serve from her, but the Huskies keep this one alive. They'll back set that one. And the Huskies are going to close this one out with a comeback from behind after losing those first two sets. Washington wins the third set, 25 to 21. USC crawled back in that one to make it close, but just four points too short. Couldn't do it. What was different for Washington in this set pickle to help them win this one? I mean, I think we almost kind of expected going into the way through that block several times, leading us to our fourth set. USC leading 2-1 as we said, but Washington really finding their rhythm here now. Maddie Ensley with eight kills on the night. Kuhn Fletcher with seven. So those have been the two star attackers for the Huskies tonight. And for the Trojans, Jaden Livings and Ali Batenhorst both with nine kills. So helping lead that USC offense as we head into the fourth set here. Absolutely. I mean, those first two sets was extreme, you know, USC domination. But that third set really flipped the script, as you said, Scott. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who's really going to come up on top here. I think it's just going to be a continued battle between these two teams, and it's going to stay really competitive if they both kind of really found their groove here in this game. And you got to think those first two sets might have been something of a fluke for these Washington Huskies. We know they're a powerful team just outside the top 25 very evenly matched with these USC Trojans, but as you've said all night, like finding their rhythm without those star players like Kirsten Barton has really helped them come into their own here in the third set, heading into the fourth set. And Tyra Ariel for the Trojans will take the first serve of this fourth set. USC gonna look to close this one out here in the fourth set, while the Huskies will hope to send it to a fifth. Tyra Ariel, been another really important player for the Trojans all night. She herself has three kills on the night in that middle blocking position. She'll head to the service line now. Tulino digs this one. Wilson to Ensley, who tips it over. And this one's a point for the Trojans as Ensley sends that one out of bounds. Trojans excited about that, trying to get some momentum going in their favor early in this fourth set. Ariel gonna serve again. Yeah, obviously in the last set, Washington started with the lead, so definitely a bit of a shift as going back to the beginning with USC, obviously so early, but starting with that one-point lead here. And USC going to hope history can repeat itself if that is the case, and maybe this early lead can carry them through. And it looks like they're going to get another point there off the block of Famuina and Leah Ford, something we've become used to seeing all night. Katie Wessels for the Huskies is a really powerful hitter, but couldn't get through their block here. Get another look at that now. And that USC block comes up again really proving to be USC's most powerful asset. And Tyra Ariel will serve. Tolina with the dig. Wilson going to send it to Ensley, who gets a swing on this one. Batenhorst keeps it alive. To Aninga, to Famuina, who gets stuffed on that play. How about Bush and Wessels on there? Talk about USC block. Washington responded yeah. and completely prevented Famuina from getting a kill. Yeah, what an improvement in the blocking game for Washington on that one. I mean, that's something that we haven't seen much this game, and just to see them be able to put it together on that one is a good sign for the strength of their defense. Yeah, they had 
one block to USC's three in the third set, so they're gonna wanna get up to par here. Saw the serve from Katie Wessels. We've seen her serve a lot tonight, and Leah Ford will get a point there as the ball goes out of bounds off the block of Julia Hunt and Emily Bush. And Jaden Livings now to serve for the Trojans as they lead three to one here early in the fourth set. And Livings with the float. It's dug by Lauren Bays. Wilson gonna set Bush. Batenhorst digs that one to Aninga. To Livings from the back row, but she swings that one out of bounds and the Huskies get a point there. USC really gonna look to clean up their attacking game. It's something we saw kind of fall apart for them at points in the third set after being really clean in the kill category in the first two. Alexis Howery now, the freshman setter, plays with such poise you would never guess she's a freshman. She'll serve for the Huskies. Batenhorst with the dig to Aninga, to Famuina, and she'll get a kill there. Really good spot. Tolino couldn't get underneath that ball. The Trojan's gonna get a point off that one. Yeah, Famuina has really good vision and she's definitely kind of like the eyes and ears of the front up for USC. And she obviously, once again, is just seeing these openings in the back of the court and really taking advantage of her teammates setting her up on the Trojan side. Yeah, she's really strong in finding those spots on the other side of the court and getting in that kill category by doing such. Gray Gosnell now gonna serve for the Trojans. Tolino to Howery. Gives Julia Hunt a swing at this one and she'll get a kill. Julia Hunt, the freshman middle blocker, really strong in the kill category. Haven't seen as much of her tonight as we have all season. Her season high, 16 kills versus UC Davis back in September. So she has the capability to be really high in that kill category. Gosnell with the dig off of Ensley's serve. Tuaninga gonna send it to Batenhorst who lays out a kill there. Pickle, you've said it all night, but when we see Batenhorst go up on a kill like that with no coverage in the middle, we typically know how it's gonna end. And that was the case here. Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, there obviously was a bit of a lack in really strong, accurate kills on the Trojan side in the last set. And it seems like they're sort of starting to gain their momentum back a little bit here. And Trubin will serve that one out. The service error results in a point for the Huskies. The service error is still haunting this USC Trojans team at points here late in this season. Yeah, they've definitely been able to control it a bit more, but it's definitely something that creeps in and can really be a deciding factor in sets that are between just a couple points. Lauren Bays with the serve to Trubin. To Aninga, gonna send it to Tyra Ariel, who gets a point off the touch of the Huskies block. Tyra Ariel, all these middle blockers for the Trojans. Ariel, Leah Ford had themselves really strong night so far. And Mia to Aninga, now to serve for the Trojans. The toss up into that flow and she will serve short. Talking about service errors, not something we expect too often from her. It's gonna be a point for the Huskies. Now a closer game here, just one point lead for the Trojans, 6-5. Molly Wilson will take to deepen the court to serve. Batenhorst digs this one. We've seen Herbie spot served a lot tonight. She'll get a swing on this one. Wilson to Bush. Bush gets it through. Trubin gets a hand on it but can't control it. Really nice spot there by Bush for the kill. Interesting, we've seen Ali Batenhorst get a lot of those first contacts on these serve receives from the Huskies. Looks like they're spot serving her, although a lot of her passes have been accurate. Another look at that kill there from Bush. Really dynamic swing from her. Trubin not able to do anything with it. Batenhorst to Tuaninga. Jaden Livings now with the swing. Jaden Livings lays it out. We've seen her hit a lot of those cross court kills all night. Yeah, Jaden Livings and Ali Batenhorst are definitely both two players that once you have it in the right spot for them, they're just gonna run with it. 10 kills each on the day for each of them leading USC in kills. How about that stat we just saw? 41 kills by USC to the Huskies 29. It's been the deciding factor tonight. Tulino gonna get one in there though. USC defense not able to get underneath that one and Tulino's excited about that one. And now we are all tied up. Something we haven't seen a lot of this game but something that's definitely you know proving itself to just show the competitive nature that both of these teams are really putting into this fourth set here. And Tulino with the serve. Bayton horse can't get underneath that one. It's gonna be a service ace and point for the Huskies. 
Talk about Tulino. She has four kills on the night. She's been a really strong player for them tonight. She'll serve there. Batenhorst going to pass this one well to Aninga to Famuina. Famuina just tips it over. Bays is going to send it out to Emily Bush. And Bush just swings too far on that one. It's a point for the Trojans. Smart play by the Trojans to not get a touch on that block, looking like Bush's swing was going to go out from the approach. Tyra Ariel now going to head back to serve. Ariel with a season high 12 kills versus Ohio. So she's able to get in that double digit category in the kill column. Ensley gonna get a swing to Aninga, keeps it alive. Batenhorst is gonna send over a high free ball. And Bays with the dig. Wilson pushes it out to Ensley. It's off the block, so USC tips it over. Tulino sends it to Ensley. And Ensley just has to bump that one over to Aninga. Goes back to Jaden Livings. And Jaden Livings. With the kill, we've become so used to seeing her swing all night across that court. Let's get another look at it here from the back set on the right side. Not her typical rotation position, but lays that one out, no question about it. Huskies not able to get underneath it. Trojans now up 9-8 here, one point lead in the fourth set. Entire aerial will serve again. Tulino keeps it alive well. The one-hand set to Ensley. Smart play by the Huskies just to get that one over. Jaden Living swings this one, but she's blocked. Tuninga going to set across to Famuina. And the Trojans going to get a point off of this one. Trojans extending their lead by one point. Now up by two here in this fourth set, 10-8. to eight. They're going to look to pull away now. I mean, Washington, you know, maintaining accuracy with defense and blocking is going to be crucial for them considering, you know, you've got two extremely strong players in Batenhorst and Livings on the Trojan side who keep coming in strong. And now Favolina. How about that play there off the overpass? Washington become an accurate passing team here in the last couple sets, so we haven't seen too many overpasses from them, but this one from Tulino. Famuina's there to just slam that one over, no question about it. Get another look at it here. Smart play to read that ball is over. And just absolutely lay it out on the floor to get the Trojans a three-point lead, now 11-8 to eight here. We haven't seen too many of those passing troubles for Washington later here in the game. Lead so far in this fourth set. Once you start to get into that four-point lead category in volleyball, you start to think you can pull it away a little bit. It's hard to come back from down deep in a set. And they're going to extend that lead there again. Just lack of accurate passing off that serve receive. Sofia Tolino not able to get underneath that ball for the Huskies. Tyra Ariel sort of spotting her in this rotation on her serve. Tolino, a player who's had to step into this passing position after the loss of Kirsten Barton for the team of uh, the Huskies. And Tyra Ariel gonna serve again. Bit of a longer preparation here before her float. And she'll float this one to Tolino. Much more accurate pass there. Nice job by Tolino. Bush going to lay this one out. And the dig by Ariel, the middle blocker. Famuina going to tip this one over. And now the Huskies out of system. But Bush gets a swing on this one. And it's a point for the Trojans as that one just goes too far out of bounds. Trojans going to be excited about that one. Extend their lead now to six points. Really capitalizing on the Huskies sort of confusion around this serve receive rotation that they've had to figure out really last minute here in the last couple days. Yeah and as we kind of reach the middle of this fourth set accuracy is going to be key for both teams here to prove who can really come out on top. I mean Trojans only need to win one more set but Washington needs to hang on for two more in order to kind of find success. And we saw that serve receive passing rotation be something that the Huskies worked extensively in warm-ups Bush, Tolino, both getting passes off those serves. So something they know as a team that they're going to have to figure out here down the stretch. And Ariel will serve again. Tolino going to pass this one tight. And the one hand set to Bush. Bush dumps it over to Aninga. Going to send it back to Jaden Livings in the dig by the Huskies. Wilson with the set to the middle and the back row swing from Tolino. Nice job by the Huskies to recover that one. And... Trojans not able to keep this one in play outside the antennas. So the Huskies going to get things going in their direction after that rally. Julia Hunt into the game for the Huskies. 
A powerful freshman middle blocker. She'll look to get a few swings in here. And Katie Wessels, common player we've seen on the service line all night. And she'll serve this one short, so a service error gives the Trojans a point. Now up 15 to nine, six point lead here. Getting deeper into the fourth set, Jaden Living's gonna head back to serve and hope to keep things going in the Trojans' direction. Both the Trojans and Huskies equal in attack attempts here with 15 in this fourth set. So still a more evenly matched set than we saw early in this game. Bush gonna tip that one over. Trubin gonna send it to Famuina and it's a battle at the net. Batenhorst keeps it alive. Famuina gonna just roll this one over across Ensley to Wilson. Back to Bush, Bush tips it over to Ninga and the Trojans are out of system. Trubin to Famuina, Famuina gets blocked on that play by Emily Bush and Julia Hunt. Washington blocks something that's cleaned up quite a bit here as the game has progressed. Absolutely, second good block for Washington in this set. Something they've really needed to utilize and have been. And when they do, when they are able to put that block together, it does really truly prove successful for their team. Anything they can do to stop that USC offensive attack line is going to be important. Howry serves. Batenhorst keeps it alive. To Aninga, to Falmuina. Falmuina rolls it over. Tolino dies for it, but can't get underneath it. So it's going to be a point for the Trojans. USC now leads 16 to 10, extending their lead to six points here. As they climb deeper into the fourth set, Gray Gosnell now going to head back to serve. And we've talked about how Gosnell has also been a really statement contributor for this team all season. Transfer from Indiana. An outside hitter, but a really strong passer and defensive player. Plays a similar role to what Kirsten Barton was playing for the Huskies before her injury. To Aninga, Batenhorst. Ensley keeps it alive. Ford slams that one over and gets the Trojans another point, extending their lead now to seven. Another sort of overpass situation there almost. Gives Ford an opportunity. Yeah, look at that. I mean, USC absolutely taking control here in the fourth set. Kind of started off a little bit shaky, but now they are truly looking dominant here in the middle. And Fletcher's going to get a swing blocked by the Trojans. She keeps it in play, and it's over to Aninga, to Leah Ford, who slams down another one. How about Leah Ford? Leah Ford. Obviously Thanks. such a key asset to this USC team. And you've got her out there with Jaden Livings, Ali Badenhorst, Adonia Falmina. I mean, all of these players just so incredibly strong on different sides of the ball. And that point is going to be overturned to the Huskies off a lift by the Trojans. So they're going to want to get things going back in their direction. Ensley now to serve. And that one just barely goes out. Point for the Trojans. Tyra Ariel to come into the game for USC. That star middle blocker we've talked all about a lot tonight. Gala Trubin back to serve for the Trojans. That veteran libero has had such a statement career for the Trojans. Soria Hurd keeps it alive. How are we going to send it to Tulino who gets stuffed on that block? Jaden Livings to Aninga out to Batenhorst. Hurd keeps it alive. Howery to Fletcher who gets a swing. And it's a point for the Trojans. Huskies got four contacts on that play as the ball went off the net. As opposed to, of course, the legal three in this game. So the Trojans will get a point on that one. Now up 19 to 11 here in the fourth set. Yeah, definitely a really big lead for the Trojans here. It'll be interesting to see if they can close it out. And that point will go to the Huskies. Service error by Gala Trubin. That one went out of bounds. Service errors been something of a deciding factor in this game. Both Washington and USC with two in this fourth set. So both teams an area of improvement as the season progresses. Lauren Bays with that really clean float serve. Tuaninga going to dump that one over, and the Huskies cannot respond to it. We haven't seen Mia Tuaninga do that too much tonight, but when she does, it's smart and it's tactical, and we'll get another look at it here. She saw that there was no coverage in that middle. Facing her hitter, she tips it over. Washington yeah, notice how she just places it. it here. Washington just not able to get underneath that one. The Trojans now extending their lead to eight points. It seems, despite USC obviously having a big lead here, now they're at 20. Um, 
and just five points out from a win on this match. And right pickle, as you said, we've seen it go back and forth at times throughout this match. So maybe Washington out of this timeout can flip the script. Looking at hitting percentages, USC 292 to Washington's negative 95. So Washington gonna look to clean up that attacking game here to Aninga with the serve. And this one just barely inbounds. Sneaky on the outside of that Washington defense, not able to pass off of that one. So to Aninga, Gonna get an ace there and a point for the Trojans, extending their lead to nine now. And Tuaninga will head back to serve again. Just braces over the net. Same, almost identical to what we saw from her on the previous serve. Hugging tight the outside of that Washington side of the court. Gets herself another ace. Yeah, to Aninga, just such a veteran player, such a solid part of this USC roster. Someone that the Trojans can really count on, especially in intense moments like these. And she gets a serve again. Washington able to keep this one alive, just sends it back over to Aninga, gonna send it to Tyra Ariel. Batenhorst unconventionally gets that one over. How are we gonna give it to her middle? And Batenhorst gonna try to get another swing on this one. Hurd keeps it alive. Howery to Fletcher. And this one's blocked, but it goes outside the antenna, and it's a point for the Huskies. Huskies trying to get some energy back under their play now. Molly Wilson into the game. Second setter in the 6-2 offense for the Huskies. She'll head back to serve. You know, at times you gotta think that having two setters, if it works in transition for your offense, can benefit giving your setter sufficient time to rest. Livings gets a swing there and it's blocked but off the touch it goes out of bounds. Trojan's gonna get a point there. One point away from match point now. 23 to 13, 10 point lead on the Huskies. Let's get another look at that play here. Jaden Livings with so many strong convincing kills tonight. Bait and horse now to serve. Heard to Wilson, back sets it tight to Tulino. And that's gonna be a kill for Tulino. Trojans not able to get underneath that one. We saw Tuaninga go in for it. And Maddie Ensley comes in for the Huskies. Now we're seeing the lead gap within 10. Trojans up by nine, which is a extremely dominant lead, but Washington coming back here with the serve. Galen Center erupting in a chant saying, go SC. Falmuina gets this one over and she'll get a point off of that tip. Huskies were ready to respond to that one quickly, but just couldn't get underneath it. Trojans now with match point here. Tyra Ariel, we've seen her on the service line a lot tonight. She's gonna look to close this one out here. Galen Center on their feet, throwing up the V for victory. And Ariel to Tulino with the dig, right to Wilson. Bush gonna get a swing on this one, and Huskies keeping it alive for themselves. Off the touch of the block of the Trojans, Julia Hunt to come in for the Huskies, and Katie Wessels will go back to serve now. And a second match point for the Trojans. Wessels to serve and hope to keep this thing alive for the Huskies. Trubin to Tuaninga to Ford, and Leah Ford closes out the match for the Trojans. How about that? After the night she had, it's a storybook ending. Leah Ford with that swing from the middle. Trojans winning, set for 25 to 15. A 10 point win over the Huskies, closing out this match three to one. Trojans taking set one, two, and four, and Huskies taking that third set. Pickle, how did the Trojans come back from that third set loss? What looked different for them in this fourth set? I think coming out in those 